date is, why do I always forget the date? As soon as I hit the record button, I'm like, okay. Um, August 6, 2019. Yeah, there we go. That sounds right. Anyway, I wasn't gonna make a video, but I was watching a video that made me think a lot because I've been meaning to say something about it. I chugged a water bottle real quick before I turned on the camera because I woke up from a nap and I have a bit of a headache. So, it's probably not the ideal time to be making a video, but the energies are doing the absolute most right now. I can't do anything about it. If it's a headache for three days, I'm not going to be like, mm, for three days, you know, you got to do something. But, anyway. Um... Actually, hold on. Sorry. I needed two hands to take the cap off, so chapstick takes priority over all. Always. Non negotiable. Anyway, so already told you the date. Every everything is whenever it is it doesn't actually matter i'm not even going to go through the whole spiel because honestly i forget in every video and um if somebody gets in the habit of watching my videos you'll understand and if somebody is already in the habit of watching other videos like this not like this but like my channel is very non-genre so yeah Sorry if I look a little rough, legit, I did just wake up and I need a haircut and my hair was, I think it's just the, the lighting that makes it look even worse. Get to the point. All right, anyway, so this is a video about body positivity, a little bit about self-love. It's probably mostly about self-love. We'll see. We'll see how that is. Notice how a lot of the time that I'm taking these videos and whatnot. Ooh, real quick, shout out to the nails. Shout, shout out to the nails. Um, they're to y'all is nothing special, but to be honest, like it is so nice to got. I got the nail polish off my nails with nail polish remover. Somebody had some, and then you know got some clear nail polish. I actually did my cuticles. I did this like yesterday after uh being in nature for a cool minute it was nice yesterday was a really good day so what i wanted to talk about is yeah body positivity most of the time when i come on and make videos like the especially the videos that are being put up immediately because uh, i have a bunch of videos that are somewhere else right now but, um, I look like this. I don't know what I look like to y'all, but this is not my final form. <laughs> this is not my final form. And the most beautiful thing about me, I would have to say, when I'm looking at myself in these things, is legit my smile. Beard and all. The beard isn't always meant to be there, but... If I didn't shave it to leave the house, it ain't going nowhere. But, anyway. But, uh... And I'm a hairy person. And it's good to own up to things like that. Because people like to be under the impression that women just look great. And then women are like, no, we do a lot of work to be how we are. But yet we don't like to show it at all. And, um... I'm Leo rising and I am a double Sagittarius and I also have like Sagittarius in every other part of my chart which is so interesting to me but um, both Leos and Sagittarius they like to look good they like to look good when they leave the house they like to look good for any type of reason especially Leos but also like they also have like this I don't care I'm, I already look good type of look to them so that helps with our confidence but to be honest it was a long time coming because I, I 
did not know anything about my body enough to the point where I could be like, yeah, I'm confident. I'm confident in everything, you know? And most, mo most of the time in these videos, I look more boyish because um, I am fairly androgynous. Which is why I thought I had Aquarius in my chart, to be honest. But I'm fairly androgynous. But I can either look super feminine or I can look more boyish. Um, my energies, masculine and feminine, they're fairly balanced out. I have a burp coming up and now it sounds like I'm crying. <laughs> anyway, um, so I don't know. Energies really do take over your part of the body. So we're not going to get into the energies because we're talking about the outer appearance. Sorry, but we're only five, six minutes in, so it's not like I got too off track. Um, for regular people who don't really want to understand like feminine and masculine energies within our body, they do play a huge part in it. Um, the more I started loving on myself, the more my feminine energy started waking up, which was nice because I didn't think that I looked very feminine. Like, you know, because I have such a unique face that it is sometimes when you grow up, it's really hard to figure out what it is that you look like makeup doesn't look right on me if it's not the makeup for me because other people you know do their makeup differently on their not basic faces but like their faces that are naturally pretty it's a little different like my face is naturally pretty but it took me a while to understand that so hope i didn't lose anybody because i know it got complicated Moving on to weight and understanding your body because I'm seeing a lot of trends on YouTube because I love try on hauls. I'm not social savvy. I don't care about everything else, to be honest. There's just a lot of things that I just really don't care about when it comes to regular things i'm gonna just say regular things to be honest with you but um when it comes down to like fashion i have a lot of clothes that i'm planning on wearing so you know of course i'm gonna be looking um because i know my body i know my body and i love my body and i'll be looking in the mirror i'll be like girl. like i'll be like yeah girl get it get it get it get it get it you can't see the twerk but you get the point like you know hyping myself up okay hyping yourself up is a little different than actually knowing what you got because i'd be looking in the mirror and i'd be sad sometimes and i'll be like bitch you look good you know because it's not all about what's on the outside but when you're having like a more of a deep day it's nice to look in the mirror and be like i don't even have to try I'm looking real rough right now, but bitch, I know I look good, you know, so there's that. It's basically like, I feel like I did, I got, I didn't get off track, it's just like a lot of categories within this. Should have wrote this down, but this was a spur of the moment, so it is what it is. My head hurts, everything's all over the place, but surprisingly still on message. I love my body because it is my body, right? A lot of people say, love your body, love everything about your body and whatever, and then you'll figure out what's going on. And it's just like, how? How do do that? How do? And it really does come from the mental part. Like, you look good today. You look nice today. And doing that every day, whether or not you believe it, right? So it is fake it until you make it on the inside, not on the outside. On the outside, just wear clothes that make you feel good, but you know what your body is. Like, growing up, I've had a bigger butt, and it has been an issue for me because from inside, I thought that that meant that I was fat. That is how I thought. But when I look at every single other person that was either smaller or bigger or had any type of anything poke poking out at any time I could always look at those people and be like that person is really good looking or that person looks so pretty 
and I could point something out as to why that person was pretty, but I couldn't do that to myself. And the only thing I liked about myself would probably be... I think my hair was my pride and joy, to be honest. But at the same time, like, I didn't like that I had to straighten it all the time. Hence why I have this happening. Everybody chill out when, you, when I say that because this is not its final form. Some videos I look better, but at the same time, I don't mind walking out like this because I know that I'm not going out to please anybody. I'm going out to be me, you know? So when you gotta eliminate the whole, oh, everybody's gonna see me and whatnot, it makes you feel better about what it is that you do with your own body. Some people go, oh, you're going out there to, um, to catch all these eyes and whatnot, but to be honest, um, when you look good, you're gonna catch the eyes anyway. Uh, and if anything, I'm more of a person that likes to not be seen unless I want to be seen. So it's a little different. But at the same time, I know I look good. So like I expect it at the same time because it is more about the energy of my person. So everybody sees me differently, but it's been pretty consistent since I became attractive. I say became because I looked at old videos and I saw my face and I was just like, you know, I didn't think I looked like that when I was younger, but you know, I wasn't doing too bad for myself. I wasn't doing too bad for myself. I went through a rough patch where I had more acne, so that was something, and I had dark spots because your girl would, you know, and then I didn't have like really good, well, I didn't have money. What we gonna say is I didn't have money, so like face wash was basically the extent and moisturizer. We didn't, they, it was like this thing where black people don't wear sunscreen. That was a thing. So I didn't get into that until earlier this year and whatnot. Well, not, yeah, earlier this year. So it's like little things like that that could have changed things, but you know didn't and then at the same time I didn't have money to get those things so I'm glad I didn't know about it people had acne medicine and whatnot and I was just like nothing not working it nothing I'm using is working so it was a different type of experience for me growing up and being positive about the way that I look because I look so different from everybody else and that is because my face looks different and I had to grow into it. My hairstyle is different because I figured out what works best for me. My mama didn't like it that I cut my hair, but you know, it's the best thing that has ever happened to me. It looks better when it's shaved down, but honestly, when it's uh, fresh out the shower and I don't sleep in it and you know, brush the sides and whatnot, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a God, it's a dime deal, you know? My eyebrows, they, once I stopped fretting with them, honestly, they just go with whatever look I'm going for, honestly. Sometimes I have to pluck a little rogue hair and whatnot, but I don't put too much effort into it. Some people cannot always do that. Like, some people can walk out of the house without shaving anything um, every morning. Every morning, I gotta do something about that. This really is mainly girls' problems, but it looks dark in the camera, but it's really not a big deal in real life. Like surprisingly and blessedly blessedly I don't have these types of problems um, that just doesn't happen people have hair on their cheeks that you can see sometimes you know sometimes they shave it I've been getting in the habit of doing that little shaving part but at the same time it's not really a big deal um, my collarbones have always been nice but they didn't start poking out until like I lost more weight and people are just like, are you eating okay? Because I've been losing weight so fast, but legit it was because of spirituality, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I just learned to appreciate my body for what it was. And I learned to dress myself the way that it was supposed to happen. Um, again, with my butt being bigger growing up, people would always say that, be like, pee pee, cause that's what my, um, that's what my cousins used to call me, pee pee pee. Is you wearing them pants or is them pants wearing you? And I'm like, in my head, because I was a quiet kid, I was just like, is that an insult? Is that a compliment? What does that mean? What does that mean? 
And then at the same time, I'm thinking, you know, like you see yourself and you don't know what you look like to other people. A lot of people uh, were jealous of the way that I looked and I didn't know because I was envious of the way they looked. I wasn't necessarily like envious, like, let me take that. You don't look good because I don't look good and whatnot. It's just like a lot of my friends were on the smaller side when it came to pants and they could wear shorts. That was something I was like, I've always wanted to wear shorts. When in reality, I could have worn shorts, but the dress code at school probably would have prevented me from wearing shorts because their dress code honestly don't fit for a be like me, to be honest. Because they'd be like, like they say like, I think it's like four, four inches above the knee or whatnot. And um, that's just not possible. That's not possible. Sorry, but it's not possible. Um, and at the same time, now I wear booty shorts, so it's like it's a little different. But like, I don't mean for them to be booty shorts, it just kind of happens like that. But I also didn't have money to buy those things. So a lot of people are put in this situation where they don't have specific items to make themselves look better, so they do best with what they can. But if you're naturally like, oh, this looks good on me, so I'm gonna make it work, then the universe will honestly bring you things, more things that um, go well with your body. And you'll start to feel more positive about it because you're not wearing something that was meant for someone else. You're not wearing something that was, you're not fretting over your body because it doesn't look like everybody else's. Um, I used to have bigger chest. It's still, mm, it's still fairly big. I don't even know what my bra size is because I haven't worn a bra since I quit work and um, most of my weight loss happened after that. So, um, don't really know, but I know that I have definitely, I have a smaller chest, so to be posted, I guess. But I'm not associating myself as plus size. I would say that I, shoot, I don't even know anymore. I'm not putting a label on how I look. A lot of people are just like, oh, I'm plus size and whatnot, but they don't even look plus size. And I used to be plus size. Like I used to be a little bit bigger. And then once I started getting comfortable with that, it's like my body was like, okay, we can do better now. So it's just like being comfortable with what I had was literally the best thing that has ever happened to me, accepting what I had so that whole runaround of what I just said was literally about accepting what it is that you have and what you don't have I have piercings I'm not trying to be like someone else I didn't get something because someone else said it was a good idea I okay y'all don't see the extent of the piercings but <laughs> that's okay so like I have gauges I stopped at a double zero because it was better for my job because I could pop them out and they don't look like stretched earlobes um, doing the absolute most and it was like oh that's perfect you know like I also have like one ear earring hole on one of these sides because both of them got done but one closed up but I don't wear it anymore and it's just like the piercings that I have on my body are perfect for me I'm not trying to be like someone else because they all had their own inspiration this right here i got this because it was the only piercing that i could have on my face because i can you know pop it up and be uniform when i was at work because you can't have these and my boss knew that i had piercings but it wasn't a really big deal because i was a good worker and people just don't bother me when i do things even in culinary school they were like you gotta take certain things out and whatnot but like the chefs liked me so they were like you know just don't open your mouth and I'm like you ain't gotta tell me twice you know but each chef would find out and be okay with it <laughs> and I'm like yeah you know things like that I would put in a black bar and you know it would just be incognito or whatnot I have piercings on my right here so I didn't want to say it out loud because I'm in my dad's house um, I have piercings right there and they honestly boosted my um, ch chest chest uh, confidence, I'm gonna say, because I didn't really fairly like my, I didn't like the way they looked, but like, 
it didn't really matter because people didn't notice that I didn't like certain things about myself but like for me I'm just like mm, I feel like they could be better I feel like y'all are doing not as as good as you could and I got these because my friend was just like hey what are you doing right now and I was taking a nap before work and then she was like want to go get those with uh, those piercings with me because we had talked about it and it was random and I was just like I don't have any money she's just like just pay me back because it was like 45 bucks and I was like all right okay and so you know surprise and they're the best thing that have ever happened to me they were sore for a while but they were the best things that have ever happened to me and then you know the tattoos that I have are all very complimenting of me I'm gonna get more so if other people feel a certain way about it that's just that's it's still my choice but like at the same time it's like I don't have certain things going on with me just because I want to look edgy and whatnot I got it because it was best for myself and I got it because I wanted to do it I'm planning on getting something right here like a little pop right there um, I'm excited for that I'm excited to wear the rings ring septum things I don't know if those are called if those are just I don't know because I've had like these for years and I'm really happy to be able to switch them out um, I might go bigger with these uh, I might not because going from a two to a zero um, really for double zero seemed like a joke I was like dang it's like I didn't even do nothing but you know it kept the holes open so it's not really a big deal um and they're very versatile like it works for me so it's like if you see somebody doing their best with their own body don't be like oh they're doing that to be blah 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 and yada yada it might take a lot of confidence for them to do that because I also had um I had my belly button pierced for a while but it rejected twice but the whole reason I got it was because it made my belly button look better I didn't get it because I wanted to uh, because I wanted I wanted that piercing now I might get it because I want it but you know what um, I don't know because I really don't want another hole that uh, because when it when it rejected I was like no I can save it and <laughs> nope and so you know I had to get used to the scar so and then after a while the scar just decided to be like what scar even though it's still there it's like I don't really care about it because it doesn't take away from anything that is on my body I'm not as plus sized anymore so when I sing to when I when I dance to Lizzo's tempo I feel like a poser but you know I don't know because I'm like it's it's okay because you know I used to and at the same time it's just music so it's like I'm not associating myself with a certain type of label, but I appreciate my body for what it is giving me and what I have and all this stuff. I used to have insecurities about my teeth because before I felt like my teeth weren't, like I felt like I wasn't grown into them, as I should say. Um, and honestly, I don't want to get them fixed now that I know I'll have money to do it because now I'm in love with my smile. Like, even if I don't smile ever again, bitch, I look good. Like, it's just like a whole mindset change. It was a mindset change. It was just being myself and appreciating what I have. And then my body automatically started going in its favorite position. My nails didn't used to grow um, they would grow past like a certain like maybe a certain point and then it would break off a little bit they weren't ugly but like they weren't like oh my god look at my nails I used to take care of them but like they would just kind of break off a little bit um, especially in high school so it's like now that they're long and nice I'm like I really appreciate them sometimes you see people with some not so good looking nails and um, it makes you appreciate what you have my hands used to be thicker they used to be a bit thicker but at the same time I learned to appreciate them too and they lost weight like it's just like a whole change has happened with my body um, my face in this lighting
we're doing our best anyway my face is you know like i learned the, the love of sunscreen um that had something to do with it it was like i was presented with things that made my life so much easier my hair was meant to made to to be blown in the wind and whatnot so i'd never care what it really looks like but i'll be in the mirror i'll be like trying to make it do you know stay in one spot sometimes and whatnot sometimes it do it on its own whatnot but like I don't have to worry about my hair anymore. I can stand in the rain because it's more convenient for me. Uh, I like weather. Is it weird? Probably because I'm from a place that doesn't know what weather is, so it's not weird. Um, I don't know. I was just watching a video about this girl, and she was talking about how people are talking about how she's anorexic and stuff like that, and she's just like, I eat three full meals a day and I snack I'm just naturally skinny you know and it's just like people are all trying to fit a certain mold like curvy and I guess that's easy to say when you're naturally curvy but dressing how you dress and dressing what is best for yourself will make you appreciate exactly what it is that you have and anything that you thought you wanted on your body either will present itself on your body the way you want it to um or you know or you'll just be happy with what you have because you realize that you only wanted it because someone else had it and you didn't appreciate what you had so that's that flaws and all because i feel like it's gonna be very surprising when people see me in all my glory when all it is is that like actually shade actually um my hair looks good either way but to be honest like with more work put in it and whatnot like i feel like it's gonna be a whole change and whatnot i don't even shave my armpits and that is because why to be honest uh, but I will later on because I'm really trying to do the most and you know down there TMI if it's TMI but honestly candid sometimes it don't matter uh, the only reason I'm gonna line anything up down there is because I wear shorts and um, it's cute but I don't want everybody seeing it so there's that and it's just too much to take care of all the time if you're a naturally hairy person you just got to do the absolute most work to make sure that you are not and it's annoying it's really annoying because you know hair literally grows back in a day if it grows back in a day but also i'm planning on drinking soy milk because these are things that i just personally don't like they're not things that i'm like oh i wish it was it was this, I wish I looked like that. It's just like, no, I do not like having to do that because it, it, you know, when you shave every day, like it makes your face not smooth, that's the thing. And if it comes back every day, why am I doing it every day? That's a lot of work. I just, I'm very low maintenance with the way that I do things, but at the same time, I'm very um, not low maintenance with the things that I do, so I don't, want to be shaving every day for everything and you shave down there and it's like it grows back the next two days like what did i even do that for why did that razor have to die why did you have to go you know my legs i don't shave those either but you can't tell um but you can at the same time if you're looking too hard uh and honestly nobody cares like nobody cares and it's not because you know and honestly i don't want to have um hair on my legs to be honest it's just it takes a lot of work to do it i wouldn't say that i'm lazy but i wouldn't say that i want to put the absolute most work into it if i don't have to so i am appreciating what i have because you know it's appreciating me my hair used to be darker then um i did used to shave it but now that i don't care about it it's lighter and wispier so nobody notices once i stopped worrying about being ashy it wasn't a problem anymore it's a mental state that's how the universe works you appreciate what you have and then they will give you exactly what you think you want 
not think you want but like they'll make it better for you and then you'll start to actually see yourself for what you are or how you look and you'll be like what was I worried about but at the same time if I had this type of confidence in high school I probably would have got dress coded a lot I got dress coded a couple of times but they really should have let me off well they did actually because I was a good kid but I didn't look like this in high school I would have attracted more lessons is, is the yeah would have attracted way more lessons um so yeah this video is over I hope that somebody got the point love yourself love yourself from the inside one and then things on the outside will follow suit you will start to appreciate what you have don't be on there being like I wish I had that I wish I had that look at yourself because we're all built a certain way for a reason that's why guys are usually bigger um, and you know I will still go for a bigger dude I like a little meat on the bones uh, you know so because they're just like well I look like this and then eventually they'll grow out of it if they're taking good care of themselves so you know it is what it is it is about body positivity if you're someone that wants to be more feminine but you don't think feminine I don't know what to tell you like it's it's a, it's about a mindset change it really is I was teetering on the on the middle and now that I know who I am it's different and now when someone gives me something that you know has nothing to do with what I like or who or, or like what fits on my body because to be honest I can wear anything and it'll work out um, I say no I don't care if it'll hurt somebody's feelings gifts gifts are meant to be kept and, and treasured but you know to be honest if I'm just gonna throw it away why am I gonna take it from you if so you know I like to make sure that people know what it is that I like because when I look at them I'm like I know what you would like but I feel like people don't always put that same so if somebody gives you an ugly Christmas sweater and you don't want to wear it I don't know what to tell you don't wear it like you know but me personally I'd probably wear it I'd probably cut it make it a crop top or something I don't know I don't know now I don't care about my tummy and my tummy is just like hey we're cute if you want to wear crop tops and I'm like yes yes so that was fun um, but as of this summer I haven't really worn any crop tops well that's not true I wear them whenever I want, but it's a little different right now. But anyway, video over. Hope somebody got the point. I know it was very all over the place, but like what video isn't? Um, love yourself. Don't compare yourself to others unless you're comparing for the good things. You're like, I'm vibing with this person, you know? But once they go off the off the deep end or rails and, and, and you don't understand what it is, don't be like, yes. Yeah be like you know what I don't agree with that but that's okay you know because beauty does start from the inside and when you start to really appreciate who you are you will find every single thing that is good for you because those things will present themselves to you and you'll be able to be like yeah that's for me and then when something isn't for you you won't be afraid to be like that is not for me sorry you know like going out when everybody wants you to go out and you're just like no you know I'm that type of person I will if I want to but most times no no but you never know anyway much love do your best don't look at my mustache don't look at my beard and don't look at my sideburns Actually, I like my sideburns, but they're normally like triangled off. I meant to say this, but um, I need a haircut. Anyway, I hope that everybody is having a beautiful and blessed day today. Uh, and I was gonna say go outside, but it was 105 the other day. I'm glad I stay inside most of the time, but I did go out this morning and it was nice. 
doing more things that you appreciate those that will help you with body positivity don't be a sheep uh. period don't be a sheep whatever <laughs>